Hey there, today we're taking a look at caffeinated shaving cream. I'd like to thank Pacific Shaving Company for sending me this out to review for you. This here caffeinated shave cream comes in a 3.4 ounce squeezable plastic container with a pop lid. And due to it being a 3.4 ounce, it means that it is just under that limit where TSA would hassle you. So this stuff can travel with you. The scent of this is a spearmint, and there is no doubt that if you like mints, you're gonna like this stuff. And it kind of gives you a little bit of a kick in the butt when you're using it. And I know that you're saying, but Justin, isn't that what the caffeine's for? Well, not really. And we'll get to that here in a minute. But first I wanna tell you guys my shaving experience using this shaving cream. This stuff's really simple to apply. I just hopped out of the shower, put a little bit on the palm of my hand, and I mean a little bit because it really doesn't take much at all to get a nice lather going. So with that white face, I would just rub my hands together and apply it directly to the face. And as you can see, it lathers up pretty nicely. Now putting the blade to the skin, it doesn't feel like it needs a shave oil underneath it, kind of like their shave stick did. Which was nice because it gave a really nice smooth draw of the razor. Unfortunately, one thing that it does have in common with the shave stick is that once it gets in the goatee or the mustache, it wants to stay there and it really, really lathers up if you just try to rinse it out with a little bit of water. So I ended up popping back in the shower just like I did with the shave stick to rinse it all out of there. But that's probably about the worst thing that I have to say about this caffeinated shave cream. And now to the ingredients. Now, as you know, there's caffeine in this, but how much caffeine is there? Well, let's put it this way. There's about 17 to 18 different ingredients in this, and caffeine is about number eight down the list. So there's really not much caffeine in this. And of course, you're probably saying, well, does it help you wake up? Well, no, caffeine on the skin doesn't absorb enough into your skin over the short amount of time that it's on your face to be able to really give you that kick that you probably want from caffeine. Now you're probably saying, well, then it's just a gimmick. Well, no, I would have to say that it's not a gimmick because that caffeine in there does definitely help do a few things. As I found out through doing a little bit of research for this review, caffeine is a antioxidant as well as a anti-inflammatory which are two things that are really nice for helping you get a nice fresh look on your face because it helps decrease the redness and puffiness in your face. It can also make your face look and feel a little bit firmer. Now, you might be a little bit skeptical if the caffeine actually does anything or not. Well, I can't tell you for sure that it did. However, I can tell you that my face after shaving with it definitely felt a little bit different than it does after shaving with other products. However, what I do know is that even without the caffeine, I would have to say that this spearmint's gonna give you one heck of a kick in the butt. And for the six to eight dollars that this comes in at, depending on where you buy it, I would have to say that it's well worth it and it's gonna last you quite a while because as you guys seen, it really doesn't take much to get a nice good lather on your face. Well, now that you know what my thoughts are on the caffeinated shaving cream, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, so that you can find out what my thoughts are on the caffeinated aftershave. And of course, if you've got any questions about this product or any others, let me know down in the comment section down below. Until next time, you have a good one.